know, getting into this, it wasn't really about solitude, but that's where I end up every time now. It's that overwhelming feeling of peace when you're out on the river and you're just listening to the cacophony of river noise and nature and birds uh, uh, overhead and like uh, there's sometimes an eagle will, will screech as it's going by and I mean the solitude of that is second to none when you have a fish on and you can feel your heartbeat or hear it in your ears even over the river you know when you have a big fish on or even a small fish it doesn't matter what size it is that feeling of just pure awesomeness is, uh, is hard to uh, quantify, really. Why is Utah so great for fishing? Well, it's one of the places that everyone else envies because you can go out on one single trip and catch five to six different types of trout. I mean, let's be honest, in one day on a river, you could catch a tiger trout, a brown trout, a rainbow trout, a brook trout, and a cutthroat, and that can be one day. So that's phenomenal. In addition to that, there's a ton of places you can get out that I think they did things right originally when they had public water, and there's a lot of public water here. Um, and you can just go out and be alone with your thoughts. is freaking phenomenal. It is the place where I plan to die. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I'm sure there are some places that people like and you know you always hear about Montana but I mean there's so much up there now you know and here it's kind of an undiscovered spot. You can get out and be in places where you don't have to pay a guide, you don't have to you know have special access there's plenty of public places you can go and just hike up a river and look for different places that you've never been 